Hi everybody, I'm Alex from the Synthesis Development Team and in this tutorial we're going to be going over the first stage in exporting a robot. So, once you have your add-in already loaded into Inventor and you have managed to get into the workspace, if you have not done this, please see our previous tutorial, you're now ready to set up our drivetrain. So the first button in that left to right workflow is the drivetrain layout. So go ahead and click that and you should see a new window pop up. Now, this selection only relates to the layout of your wheels, not the type of wheels. So for example, in basic, this is kind of any drivetrain layout where the wheels are separated by left and right sides. So for your butterflies, your mechanism, or just your West Coast drivetrains, you can click basic. H drive is almost purely just for H drive drivetrains since they have that wheel in the middle. So you have to do some extra simulations to properly represent that. And others for any other drivetrains that kind of don't fit in these two categories. Uh, for most robots, we recommend just using BASIC since that is the most widely used and most broad setting for drivetrains. So in this case, we're going to click OK since we are using a BASIC left and right tank drive setup with six wheels. We can go ahead and click OK. And then the next step is the drivetrain weight. Now this is simply the weight of your entire drivetrain including wheels. So this is the kind of base frame of your robot. As you see in this case, our entire robot is just a drivetrain. So just kind of guess the weight of this. You can use the calculated weight option. However, uh, I usually just set the weight since I'm pretty good at eyeballing it. So in this case, we're going to say this is about a, about a 45 pound drivetrain. Now if you do choose to use uh, kilograms, you have that option here. And once you find an accurate weight for your entire drivetrain, you can simply click OK. And that's it. Your drivetrain is now configured. And in the next tutorial, we can go over editing joints, which is where most of the magic happens. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave comments in our forums or in the comment section of this video below. And I hope to see you in the next one. See ya.